Hi, welcome dear students to fourth video of chapter one. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today I am going to discuss about modem and computer ports. Previous class I explained about the RAM, ROM, disk drive, and power supply. Now, now let us discuss one by one what is a modem. So modem is a short form of modulator, demodulator. First two letters, M O is the modulator, and last three, M is the demodulator. So modem is a device that enables a computer to send or receive data over the telephone or cable line. So modulator converts digital information of a computer to analog and demodulator converts the analog signal back to the digital signal. Here you can see the, the, the digital data waveform or analog data waveform. So the data stored in the computer is digital Whereas the telephone line or a cable wire can transmit only the analog data. Okay. And uh, so uh, different types of modem, uh, the internal modem. So internal uh, modem already installed in the computer. Actually, a card fitted into the one of the slots on the motherboard. Inbuilt, it is inbuilt in the motherboard. Right. And uh, second one is the external modem. So, external modem installed outside of the CPU box is called EM, external modem. Right. And another one is the PC card modem. This is in the shape of the credit card or uh, debit card size. So a PC card is a credit card size memory or an input output device that fits into a personal computer, usually a notebook or laptop computer. It is commonly used as the telecommunications modem for notebook, computers, or uh, it can be easily removed if not needed. If you can also find it in the, your Tata Sky, uh, you know, Tata Sky, uh, you see the, the back side, there is chip, and it is in the shape of credit card. You can just simply uh, insert or remove. Okay. So here you can see the PC card modem. Now, another term that we discuss here is the computer port. So what is the use of the computer port? Computer port is a connection point or interface between computer and an external or internal device. Right. So the main function of the computer port is to act as a point of attachment where the cable from the part peripherals can be plugged in and allow data to flow from one from end to the device. Right. So internal ports connect such devices as the hard drives and the CD ROM or DVD drives. Okay. So external ports connect modem, printers, arms and other devices. Now we can understand the characteristics of the ports. So it connects external drive device to a computer using cables and ports. We use cables and ports to connect external drives, devices to a computer. And then they are expansion slot on the motherboard into which cable of the external device is plugged. Okay. So also see the expansion slot on the motherboard, various expansion slot. So the cable of the external device is plugged. See the venues. 
bus cable it can plug 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 and uh, now serial ports now the serial ports the use of serial ports it connects external devices to a computer using cable and the port right and there are expansion slots on the motherboard into which a cable of an external device is plugged serial port you can see find out the back side of the cpu cabinet where you can find out the uh, nine pin inside the serial port right so it is a uh, two version that is the nine pin and the 25 pin model right and uh, uh, data travels data travels uh, at 115 kilobytes per second so serial ports used for external modem and the older computer mouse external and the older computer i hope you are able to understand the points which i explained thanks for watching the video bye for now see you